Hi lads. Right. Happy one brew Wednesday. A late one. See, I don't do late ones. But, for those of you who kind of know that I've moved out and that, a little bit of camping trip. Went away with me little girls. So, another backdrop. This is the front room at my mum's house. But no, any yes, it's just a quick one. Have I been brewing? No, I've got nowhere to brew yet. Am I still in the SG? Yes. How am I going to have printed labels? No. Handwritten labels, old school. Why? Then we'll print it that works. Oh, I've got a printer, but it doesn't work very well. It doesn't do labels very well. So, any case, where'd I go? I've been to Keswick in a tent with my mum and dad, with me two little girls. Fantastic. Reamed every day, but we had a cracking time. Yes, tinned Cronenberg. It'll do, it's wet. But, while I was out there, went to a beer shop. Because you've got to do them things, haven't you? And I found this. And for those of you who don't know, I'm interested in the um, the chocolatey beers because I'm trying to sort out chocolate stout, and this is a chocolate stout. And the best thing about it is, it even tells you exactly what percentages of what they've put in it. The only thing they don't tell you is the hop additions, but I'm sure, sure I reckon. Work in, it tells you it's fuggles and nothing else, so I'm sure I can work that one out. But anyway, that will be getting reviewed. What else did we manage to pick up while we were there? Another brewery, know nothing about. I haven't even looked on the internet yet. Uh, but it was a local brewery. The guy in the shop said it was. But the reason why I got it, because it's got Durham door knocker on. And I lived in County Durham. And my mum is from County Durham. So, we've got three of them. Different ones, what's I'm just seeing what that one is. That's a Pilsner. Then we've got the Red Ale. And we've also got Old Faithful. So, um, I haven't even read the backs of them bottles. So, we will be doing a little bit of a uh, beer tasting series. Um, but no, that's it. I've got nothing going on. I, as I say, I did miss Wednesday, but it was it was kind of a last minute type of decision, because my dad's a bus driver, and so man, we were both four day weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it was kind of last minute. We decided that we were gonna, uh, with the kids being off, we we're gonna get away for a few days. So I'm sorry. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm just, I'll just turn this around a second. Right, this is what I keep looking at, because this is literally. All of the camping gear here. And tents are upstairs over banister rails in rooms trying to get dried out because as I said it was a little bit there. Uh, mildly moist you could say. Or monsoon weather. But we had a good time. And the bands loved it too. And it was the first time they've ever been in a tent. So hey. Looks like it's the future. So, any it is, it looks like I'm a bit more back to normal now and I'm hopefully going to catch up with a few videos. I'm back at work full time and everything, so I'm, I'm getting, I'm hopefully going to be a little bit more proactive, as one would say, and get a little bit more involved again. Because, to be honest, I kind of miss it a bit. I miss the community. I miss chatting with the lads on a, on a weekend, but I, I can't. I've only got an iPad, so I can't get on Vaughn at the moment. And... Trying to work out. I'm, see, I've got to go and pick. I've still got stuff over there that I need to pick up and bring over. I've got beer over there and a fermenter. I really don't think that's going to be particularly nice now. But you never know. I've got beer over here that I've tasted. That's like feet. And I mean, that's manky. So I've got oh, loads of beer. I've got to throw some out and I've got to drink a lot. And I've got the uh, SJ Paul Challenge beers, which I'm really, really looking forward to because up until the middle of last week I was still a bit unsure because I wanted to do a proper, I wanted a nice label and I wanted to, you know, to, to do a bit of a nice beer and put a bit of nice beer out there and have a go but hey, I've got what I've got and for this year that's it, I'll uh, so I've got to enter really, I'd be a bit, you know one of those things in the world you wish you'd always do them when you didn't and you can't do the first year again can you, so this is the first year so you can always, I always classify myself as a founder. I had a go, and uh, hopefully, hopefully next year, 
I'll be in a situation with a better work and brew and I'll be in there again next year. Otherwise, hey, we'll see what happens. So, was just a quick one. My apologies for it being late, but going camping with my girls was a thousand times more important than putting a video up for you to watch, which you can watch anytime you want. So, this is the Reverend Sin. Have yourselves a nice beer and I hope your beer tastes better than mine because Cronenberg's not very nice. What's he? £4.50 for four cans. I wasn't going to complain. But this stuff, keep an eye out for. I am going to redo uh, me, me usual reviews. Not the best. But I'll be honest, and if it tastes like shit, I'll tell you. I'm not going to mess around with it. If it's crap, it's crap. But it's again a small little local brewery. And this one here, I've never even heard of them before, seen them or anything. Know nothing about them. But again, I'm going to point out this because I love it so much. It's got all the percentages on, feel like your Marisota. I'm reading this back the front, pale malt, so I know exactly how much I need, I can just stick that in via Smith and it's going to hire me answer straight away, so, and it's four point here, but I haven't tasted it, it might be awful, it might taste worse than my beer, and it is prattling, so, you have a good time lads, and uh, hopefully I can kind of catch up with you when you're going to be on Uvu, and we'll have a little bit of crack, and if not, you never know, I might be out and about around to see people, but that's another story. See you all in a bit boys, have a nice time.